Today, quickly, I just want to talk about if it don't add up, subtract it. All right, so I saw uh, an internet an internet quote that has said that, and I feel that that's, that is very true, and that just goes about friends, family, anybody who wants to bring negativity to you, um, or if you feel like something don't add up, subtract it. Now, you know, for me personally, a so-called uh, friends or family or people in general, but mostly people are supposed to be you close to, you know, if you feel like they're using you and like if you give them a hundred dollars, you know, when they need it to get their rent up, and then, you know, every time you hang out, they you always paying for something because they either broke or low on funds. And then when they get paid, you don't hear from them. And then you see them on Snapchat or you see them uh, um, on Facebook, always on Facebook, telling somebody else to, you know, come over to their house. Or you or you going to see them on Snapchat acting up a, a buck-ass fool or partying you know, getting down, having fun with other people, that doesn't add up. So subtract the ass. Because that's just saying that, like, they're using you to get what they want to, and they um, basically see you as a free bank, see you as a, a free, as a means to just get things, and, they, and they're not really loyal to you. Like I said before, uh, which was another uh, internet meme I saw. People, some people aren't really loyal to you. They're just loyal to the need of you. And once they need to change, so will their loyalty. So that person's loyalty has changed. Uh, real talk. And to me, that doesn't add up. And, you know, so subtract them. Because they will be needing you again. And guess what? If you don't don't go back to that person or don't feel, feel sorry for them because looks can be deceiving so people can look and sound sad and really in their mind they'd be like let me trick this nigga to get what I want or let me trick this bitch to get what I want so you don't be that bitch or be that nigga you know you deserve better in life and if that does mean being alone sometimes kicking it by yourself that's great because sometimes you have to be in fact, all the times, you have to be like a person that you're so comfortable with being alone till you have people that's competing with your alone time because it can make your alone time a little bit better if it's, if it's already that good. You know, that's just my take on it. A lot of people, a lot of the truth hurts a lot of people. And a lot of people uh, can't cash checks they ass written. It was just a check your ass couldn't cash, and you probably written it. So, you know, that's my take on that. Again, you know, a lot of people are just so gullible. They, they, just, they just let people just use them. And just to say, oh, I'm not alone. You could be alone. It's nothing worse than being with a person that makes you feel alone. And some of y'all need to grow a backbone. You know, and I'm speaking of experience. This is not just um, let me use scenarios. No, I'm speaking out of experience. So, I don't know what you feel about it. You know, express yourself. Don't impress yourself. And I uh, got that from Madonna. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, you know, somebody who wants to make you change just to uh, a please a, appease them again that's not a person that's for you and you shouldn't be around that person or if they if you lost something and when they lose something you find it and they feel all good about it then when you lose something it's kind of mm -hmm, okay well, 
just how life is. Again, cut that person off. Because they are just using you. And they probably just don't care about you. Like I said, some people are only loyal to the need of you. And once those needs change, so does their loyalty. Because they ain't going to be hitting you up no more. They going to just, you know, try to give you attitude when you, it was, it should be the other way around. All right, so any comments, questions, concerns, anything else you want to talk about, you know where to leave it. To this, bring your boy, Chris with the next. Peace.